Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to display the labels of your posts below this uh, title right here. So below all these titles of these posts, we'll be having the list of labels displayed over here. Now, first of all, let me explain to you what is a label. So if you go back to the Blogger dashboard, here we can see that uh, here we have all these posts over here. And here we can see there are two terms displayed over here, news and technology. So these two are basically the labels of this post. Now we can categorize our posts into different labels or we can even call them tags or I think in WordPress it is called categories. Now in this way the visitors will be able to know which category this post belongs to. So for example if this post is about technology and uh, it involves technology news then we add these two labels over here in this post. And then if this post has some technology described then we will also add the label technology over this post. Now when the labels are displayed in these posts, we will make them clickable. So when someone clicks on the news label, it will display all the posts that has the news label in it. So in this way, the visitors will be able to navigate through your website easily. Now let me quickly show you how to add labels inside a post. So let's open this post right here. Right now we don't have any labels for this post. So here on the right side, we can see we have the option called labels. And if I click on that, we have this uh, input field where we can add some labels. So by default, it shows all the labels that are currently used in different posts. So we can go ahead and select any from here or we can even create a new label. So let's add a new label over here. So I'll just type Apple. So here we can see we have two labels in this post. We have news and Apple and we separate each of the labels using a comma. All right. So now let's click on update. And let's go back to the dashboard. And here we can see now we have two labels for this post. We have Apple and News. So now if someone clicks on the News label in our post, they'll be taken to a page where both these posts will be displayed because both these posts have the News label in them. So that's basically how the labels work in a Blogger website. Now let me show you the theme that I'm using. So I'm using the theme that comes by default with Blogger. So here we can see this theme called Contempo and this is what I'm using right now. Alright, so first of all, let's create a design for displaying the labels and then we will add the design to this theme and then we'll also add some blogger specific code to display all the labels dynamically. So let's get started. Alright, so I have created a new folder called labels for blogger and I just opened it with VS code. So this is the code editor that we're going to use to design our labels. So let's start by creating an index.html file. So let's go over here to new file and we'll type index.html. And let's also create one more file called style.css to add the CSS. Now, if you're using VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's also link our style.css file over here. All right, let's start by creating a division with a class of labels container. And in this we will have two divisions, one for the icon for the labels and one for all the labels. So let's create a division and we'll give it a class of label icon. And in this we will add the label icon. But before that let's create another division. So I'll just create a division over here. And in that we will have all the labels. For now we'll just create some anchor tags over here as the labels. And later when we add this code to our blogger website, we're going to delete all the anchor tags and uh, we will add some code to display all the labels of the post. So for now, we'll just add some labels over here. So let's type technology and I'll just duplicate it two more times. And uh, here we'll type news and we'll add one more label over here. So I'll just type Apple. All right now, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server. So if you go ahead and install this uh, extension in VS Code, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our result is being displayed over here. Now for the label icon, I'm going to use this website called heroicons.com. So just go to this website and search for what you want over here. So I'll just type tag and here we can see this icon. So let's copy the SVG. So I'll just click on this and let's paste it over here inside the division label icon. All right, so now we can see that the label icon is being displayed over here and also the anchor tags are displayed. So now let's go to our CSS file and let's start styling this. First of all, let's go ahead and decrease the size of this label icon. So let's type labels container label icon and we'll set a width of 24 pixels. Right now, let's target the labels container and we'll give it a font family of Roboto. 
Now let's add one more container division over here. So in the labels container division, we will have one more division with the class of labels. And in this, we will have both the label icon and uh, all these anchor tags. Now let's target this labels division over here. So let's go back to style.css and uh, let's type labels container labels and we'll give it a background color of D0FAFC and now it has 100% width so for the labels container we will set the display to flex and now we can see it has uh, the 100% width of the content now let's add some more styles to this so let's add a padding and we'll add a padding of 4 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and let's also add a border radius and uh, let's set it to 16 pixels top left and uh, 0 for top right and 16 pixels for bottom right and 0 for bottom left. Now we're going to position this icon over here at the top right corner of this division. So for that we will set the position of these labels to relative. So here we can see we have this labels division and in that we have the label icon. So now we can set the position of this label icon relative to the labels. So let's go ahead and add some styles to the labels icon. So let's type labels container label icon and let's set the position to absolute and uh, we'll set the top position to negative 13 pixels and uh, we'll set the right position to negative 18 pixels and we'll also rotate it a little bit so let's type transform rotate Z and uh, we'll set it to 285 degrees alright so this is how our icon is gonna look now let's style these anchor tags so let's type labels container A and uh, first of all, let's remove the underline. So let's type text decoration to none. And we'll set the color of the text to 03608F. And uh, let's set the font weight to bold. And we'll also set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll set the font size to 13 pixels. Right now, when we hover over this uh, anchor tags, we're going to add a different color. So let's type labels container A colon hover. And let's set the color of the text to 001620 and now let's hover over these uh, labels and here you can see there is uh, this change of color now after each of these labels we're going to add a comma so let's go ahead and uh, type labels container a colon colon after so we're going to use this after element for this so let's type content and we'll type comma and now we can see that after every label we have this comma but we don't want to have the comma at the last label so let's add some styles for that so we'll type labels container a colon last child so this will select the last element and we'll type colon colon after and we'll set the content to blank and now we can see that for the last element we don't have the comma and we have the comma for all the other elements right that's basically it with the design of our labels now let's go ahead and add this to our blogger website so let's go back to our blogger website and let's see how this website is structured so let's right click over here and click on inspect and we want to add this label below the heading so here we can see for the heading we have this class called post title so let's search for this class post title in our theme code so let's go back to our theme code so you can go over here to theme and uh, click on this arrow and click on edit html and you can just search for this class over here post title so here we can see it says class equals post title and we also have this class over here so let's search for class equals post title so i'll just press ctrl f and we have the search bar so let's type class equals post title and let's press enter and we have this s3 with the class of post title and we don't have the other class over here so here you can see we have the post title and entry title but here we don't have the other class so let's press enter once more to go to the next instance and here we can see we have the post title and also the entry title so this is what we want now if we take a look at this we can see that it is an includable and it has an id of post title so this includable is being used somewhere in our theme so now we have to search where is this post title includable being used so for that let's press ctrl f and whenever we use an includable in a blogger theme we use it with b includable then we type name equals and the id of the includable so let's search for name equals and uh, then the post title over here so let's type post title and press enter and here we can see this is where the post title is being used so let's go ahead and make some space over here below the post title and let's add the HTML of our labels over here so let's go back to our source code and uh, 
let's go to the HTML and we'll just copy this uh, division from here labels container and uh, we'll paste it right here right now let me show you how to add the labels of your post over here in your blogger website so let's delete all these anchor tags from here and we're going to create a blogger loop for this so for that we have to type less than b colon loop and then we need to have two attributes over here so the first one is value and we'll set that equal to data colon post dot labels so this is what you need to add in the value and uh, then the next attribute is called var and uh, here we have to type label and uh, let's close this over here and let's close the b loop over here so we'll just type forward slash b colon loop all right now with this loop blogger is gonna loop through all the labels inside the particular post and we are accessing the variable label so let's create an anchor tag over here so i'll just type a and i will just close it over here and in the anchor tag we need to display the label so for that we have to type less than data colon label dot name and i will just close it over here so this is how you display the labels inside an anchor tag in a blogger website and let's also add an href so whenever someone clicks on the label we need to take them to the page where all the posts with that label is being displayed so for that we have to create an expression so let's type expr colon href and here we will type data colon label dot url so this is going to take the visitor to the url of the label and this is going to display the label in our post and we'll also add an if condition over here so here we will type less than b colon if and for the condition we will type data colon post dot labels and we'll close the if condition after the end of this division right here so let's close it over here now here what we're doing is we are checking whether we have any labels in our post so if you have at least one label then we're going to display this code over here or else we're not going to display this so that's it with the labels now let's add the css so let's scroll up and here we can see all the css of the theme code so let's go to the end of the css and uh, let's add a comment so we'll just type custom labels and let's go back to our css and we'll just copy all the css from here and we'll just paste it over here all right now let's go ahead and click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and i think there's some error in our code so let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the includable post title so let's press ctrl f and name equals post title and uh, let's see whether we have any errors All right so the problem is that uh, we have written value over here we need to write values so let's add an s over here so that was the error so let's go ahead and save it once more and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the labels are being displayed over here but we want the labels to be on a separate line so let's right click and uh, click on inspect and let's see how we can do that so let's select the container division we will have a width of 100 percent and now we can see that the labels have moved down so let's add width of 100 percent to the labels container so let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's go to the css and uh, here for the labels container we will type width of 100 percent and uh, let's save it and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see that the labels are being displayed and we don't have any problems so here we can see there are two labels news and technology and uh, here we have two labels apple and news and for the other posts we don't have any labels so nothing is being displayed over here and uh, let's click on one of these labels so let's click on news and now we can see that showing posts with the label news and we have these two posts over here so both of these posts have the news label let's click on technology and we can see that only one post is being displayed over here so that's basically how you add labels to your blogger posts so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day
Thank you.